ToonGrin.com. Hey guys, uh, before we start this spotlight, I just want to do a little bit of a experiment. Yes, I'm going to show some flashcards with some names on them, and you just give your gut reaction to them. Okay, here we go. Uh, how about... Ooh, that was a little harsh. And how about... <laughs> you guys are just way too predictable. Now, if you've been on YouTube for any amount of time in the past few years, you would have definitely heard of the viral video reviewer, Ray William Johnson. In his show Equal Three, he would take three very popular viral videos and just comment on each one, cracking jokes, giving in, quote, analysis of the videos. And that's really it. And this gave him over 10 million subscribers at the time of recording, but recently Ray has reorganized production on Equal 3 with a new host so he can pursue making a TV show and other more ambitious projects. So just for context sakes, I like Ray, but Equal 3 wasn't really my cup of tea. What was, however, was Ray's band, your favorite Martian. I'm the kind of guy who doesn't really have a specific style of music I like. If it has a good beat to it, I'll like it. And band or artist names? Uh, yeah, no. Your Favorite Martian is the only band that I consistently like and recognize actually existed. YF Band consists in real life a plethora of various animation and audio mixing talents, as you couldn't tell by the credits in most of those videos. But in the animated realm, we have four members. Puff Puff, DJ, Benatar, and Axel, with all vocals coming from Ray for Puff Puff, Big Rob and Ricky Shucks for DJ, and Jesse Kale, aka Mick Swiker for Benatar. All the singers have really great voice talent, especially Jesse and Ray. Jesse has this almost soothing tone to his voice, even when he's singing a song more rough on the voice. And Ray, he has great vocal rhythm and thus is able to lay out some really awesome lyrics. Now song-wise, if you know Ray, you should guess that YFM isn't what you would call a strictly mature band. Their first tape music video amassing over 65 million views was My Balls. But what I like about YFM is that while it's not mature, it isn't strictly balls to the wall goofy either. They can do slow songs, fast songs, energetic songs, and oddly romantic songs without losing their own distinct style. Even the covers they did as film preparation for their album, all of them had their own distinct style to them that was just YFM, while also paying homage to the original. Except for the cover of Jump Around. Yeah, can you guess why I don't like that one? Oh, stop that! But good music is one thing. Speed. An animated band, I should be talking about the animation because YFS evolution in their animation is very intriguing. Starting out with the animation from Ladybug Studios, it's a very stiff puppet like style that, while very distinct and cool looking, shows signs of very cheap looking animation in some areas. But I didn't like it for the time, mainly because these early YFM music vids would experiment in slightly varied animation styles each vid, making each video original in style. Tico Bates used a style like Camille's high school worksheet with matching simplistic doodles. Club Villain gave the villains these bobbleheads, and Robot Barfight gave all the robots these chrome and metal textures that was completely alien to anything we've seen on YFM before or since. Then a major change happened. After Puppet Breakup, Studio Ladybug's style was nowhere to be seen, and the YFM gang got a new, cleaner look from Cosmic Toast Studios. And as most fans do, they freaked the hell out at the change. And I'll be honest, I was skeptical about the change as well. 
as made apparent from the first song that you used to style with your kids, I theorize that with this new clean style, it would lead to future videos being less visually original, unlike in Ladybug's videos. And I was right. Cosmic Toast in later videos has some great animation, but comparing all the new YFN songs to the old, you'll be hard to not notice the almost copy-paste feel to the style in the new ones. But sacrificing that gave way to YFN's definitive animation style, which with the old songs was good, but even I had to admit looking back the model of Puff Puff looks like ass in comparison to the new one. There's also the sense that the editing got 10 times better for some of the songs. Before the animation had this limitation with movement that made some cuts come off as awkward. However, in some of the new YFM songs, thanks to baskets and special effects, the songs get more of a music video vibe to them, which helps in hiding a lot of the loopy and copy-paste animation for some of the songs. Shitty G, She Looks Like Snack and Friendzone are the worst examples of terrible hiding of moving animation. Especially She Looks Like Sex. They replay clips over and 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 over to the point of just blatant corner cutting. But even with all these faults, I love to listen to the good YFM songs while I work. And I was really excited for their new album. Ooh, I was just on the edge of my seat waiting. They were placing it all of their latest video that it was coming out this winter. And ooh, and then guess who ruined the party? Oh, oh, oh god, oh, oh my mom, folks. Oh, hi, Ra. You know that whole agreement that we were going to take part of your ad revenue pie to help produce YFM? Yeah. Well, we want more of the ad revenue pie. And if you don't give us more of the pie, we're just going to hold your album for a hostage. How do you like that? Huh. Maybe the hostage will prove what's the best move. So the album is gone, and Your Favorite Martian ended its production after 44 music videos and a few episodes of their just mediocre web series spin-off. Now, I'm not saying either side was wrong or right in this business field because A, I wasn't there, and B, I don't want to ruin the fact that any voice for me I just gave it. Luckily, the Your Favorite Martian channel is still up for viewing pleasure. And if you haven't seen any of your favorite Martian videos yet, then take this video as a recommendation and check it out. And I'll sign off by wishing Ray and Jesse, as well as everyone else who worked on YFM, good luck on all their future projects.